Okay, so just a couple of little things that you could kind of keep in mind that I think could kind of make this um, project really kind of pop. And one of them is, um, you know, like not using a lot of color, but using like systems of color. And one thing that you can do is um, I'm in the window swatch. So if I go window swatch down to swatches and I open up this little swatch palette. In the little mini drop down, it's these three lines in the upper right corner. If I hold down on that, I can go down to open a library and it allows me to pick all these different predetermined color palettes. So in art history, there's like ancient Baroque, there's all these different, you know, color systems that are already kind of set up. Um, under nature, there's like beach, flowers, foliage, landscape, you know, nude. So I'm, let's just click on neutral here and see what that looks like. So here's like a neutral palette. And you know, if I were to use just a couple palettes for the whole project and Earlier I had opened Earth Tone, so that's that basically opens up again inside the file. So there's Earth Tones, which have these base, basic Earth Tone colors. There's Neutral. If I basically did this whole project with just a couple color palettes, it kind of creates a better color story, right? It, it kind of limits the color I can use, but it makes the whole project look a little bit more professional. Um, something else, right, is, you know, I've got a couple... Um, textures here that I really like. I'm just going to go file place. <clears throat> and this is that first texture that we use. I'm just going to place it here on the desktop. And I'm just making sure that anytime I'm trying to affect one of these textures, I have clicked on fill, right? Fill is the focus of that texture. Um, and if I go back into appearance and I click on opacity, if I click on, you know, normal and then choose multiply, um, it's multiplied that um, image, right? So it's got that transparency. And just making sure that I'm on fill again, I should be able to choose a color. And you can see that it, ch it kind of changes it to be that color. So one kind of interesting thing about this texture is it has a really nice fall off. <clears throat> and fall off just means that it goes from dark to light. And you can see here, this has a really nice fall off and it kind of creates a sense of a shadow underneath the bird, right? And I could even create a really interesting fall off here on the kind of the leg of the bird. I'm just going to scoot it where I would like to place it. I'm going to use the rotation tool and then I'm just going to rotate this, right? I'm rotating it a little bit so that I get dark to light. It's kind of falling off along the axis of that leg, right? And I'm going to cut it into memory, right? I'm edit, cut. I'm going to get my white selection tool, I'm going to click on that leg, right, <clears throat> and I'm going to go down to drawing mode, draw inside, and then I'm going to paste command V. And you can see that it pasted that in there for me. And I'm going to click on it one time and just drag it back up to where I would like it to be, right? Um, I don't want to have a weird straight line. It just tells me that I didn't align it correctly. I'm at least going to hide it underneath the wing shape. And then if I get my black direct select tool and double click, so I'm starting to build like this really interesting sense of texture. And you know, when I think about something like an ostrich, I do think about, you know, you know, Africa, sunny, warmth, a lot of texture. Like I'm just trying to build this really interesting story using shape, color, line, texture. I feel like that's something that can work really good for me.